Commissioner isn't alone in recent days. Controversial statements over the Black Lives Matter movement costing people their jobs. CBS 13's Anna Giles with where people are going wrong. Anna. Hey guys, this week was a shock for people in Sacramento after the Kings cut ties with Grant Napier after a comment he made. Now the experts are telling us if you have nothing positive to say on social media, you probably shouldn't say anything at all. A whirlwind of opinion hit social media over Black Lives Matter. People in power are being asked to weigh in, and some are missing the mark. When people wade into that public space with their personal opinions, it can backfire. It can be misinterpreted. Former voice of the Kings, Grant Napier, was asked about Black Lives Matter and responded with All Lives Matter. Backlash was fast. The Kings cut ties and he lost his radio show. The commentator had this to say via Twitter If it came across as dumb, I apologize. That was not my intent. Right now, there is such a heightened sense of sensitivity around so many issues. Public relations expert Doug Elmet says the safe choice is to observe and reserve judgment. New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees has been widely criticized for his comment that he would never agree with anybody disrespecting the flag. He apologized after fellow sports stars called him out. It's best to have an authentic apology. Sometimes people apologize but it's an immediate apology and it seems insensitive. Sacramento political consultant Steve Maviglio took heat for his comments criticizing his tenant in Washington, D.C., who gave shelter to dozens of protesters. He apologized, but is now being asked to resign as member of the Sacramento Natural Foods Co op, which said his views are his own and do not represent the board or the co op. At a time when so many want to speak up, Elmet says, consider taking a step back and thinking first. Best not to make a comment if you have a sense that it might pull a scab. Yeah, and that PR expert we spoke to says he's been flooded with calls from clients asking for advice about how to make a comment on the Black Lives Matter movement. So clearly there's a lot of interest and a lot of interest in doing this right.